गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो वी आर बैक अगेन इन आर नेक्स्ट बायोलॉजी क्लास इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड चैप्टर नंबर फोर द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द फ्लार एंड वी हैव रिवाइज द वेरियस टर्म्स यूज इन दिस लेसन एंड आई टोल्ड यू टू गो थ्रू ऑल दीज टर्म्स एंड रिवाइज इट सो इफ यू हैव रेड एंड रिवाइज देन लेट अस डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स सो वी हैव रिव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड मल्टीपल चॉइस टाइप सो जस्ट यू कैन गो थ्रू इट and tick the right answers if you have already done just you check your answer very short answer type matchups you can note down then let us discuss the short answer type questions explain the following terms incomplete flower the flower in which uh, all the four worlds are not present one of the world will be missing staminate flower is one which has only stamens or androecium pistillate flower the flower which has only pistil that is only gynoecium bisexual flower the flower which has both male and female reproductive parts that is androecium and gynoecium distinguish between the following pairs flower and inflorescence flower is the reproductive part of the plant or you can say it is a specialized shoot which bears the floral parts and inflorescence refers to the mode of arrangement of the flowers on the stem petals and petaloid sepals petals that is corolla represents the colored part of the plant petaloid sepals are the sepals which are colored polyandrous and polyadelphous androecium polyandrous stamens are free and polyadelphous stamens are fused or joined in various groups so you can see once again this is polyadelphous they all are joined in various groups and polyandrous stamens are free not joined okay then where are the uh, following structures located and you have to give their function so placenta location will be inside the ovary and function will be it attaches the ovule to the wall of the ovary thalamus location will be flower and function will be it holds the floral parts that is sepals petals androecium and gynoecium anther present in the androecium in the flower and function is to produce the pollen grains stigma present in the gynoecium and function is it uh, it receives pollen grains okay then next question is why are the following described as stated the androecium of pea flower is diadelphous it is because in pea flower the arrangement of androecium is in two groups nine androecium of pea flower is diadelphous this is because the stamens are joined in two groups you can see the page number 42 and this is the arrangement of stamens in pea plant these nine stamens total 10 stamens are there nine are fused to form one staminal tube and this is the 10th one which is the free stamen so it is arranged in two groups that is why we call it diadelphous fine then ray florets of sunflower as neuters because they do not uh, have any reproductive organs that is androecium or gynoecium salvia sepals as petaloid because salvia is the flower whose sepals are colorful so we call it petaloid like petals then name the different types of androecium found in flowers china rose monoadelphous bombax polyadelphous and p diadelphous then these two questions you have to write yourself this diagram you have done many times so you can write the answers and given alongside is this figure so you just tell me which major organ of flower does the figure a represent it represents the stamen and what is the collective term for this organ androecium are the contents of pollen sacs in b male or female these are male because this is the transverse section of anther can you state how the contents of pollen sacs would come out after maturity the pollen sac will rupture and the pollen grains are liberated in the environment in the atmosphere from where they will be taken off by wind water or various kinds of agencies birds insects etc 
then what are bracts state their functions bracts are the modified leaf like structures which help or which attract the and help in pollination state the function function will be it helps in pollination explain the terms monoadelphous diadelphous and polyadelphous in each case name a flower so this is again a repeated question or you can refer your book monoadelphous diadelphous polyadelphous examples are given here so you can note down so dear students revise it once again and in the next video we will start the next lesson so take care goodbye